Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of Leadership Over Coffee. I'm Justin, I am your host, and in the next three to five minutes, we're going to give you one quick tip application that you can use to further your leadership capacity, expand your reach, and be a person who leads with influence. And today I want to talk about generosity. That we actually, uh, I, I think we carry around this notion that the more that I know, the more that I acquire, the more that I need to hoard those resources so that people think that I've somehow made it or maybe I'm, I'm valuable, that I somehow have worth because of all that I have accumulated. And both scientifically through studies and just through practical application, look back on your own life, I think if we stop for a second, we can realize and need to acknowledge that it's actually quite the opposite that is true. The people that we feel most endeared to, the people that we feel the most drawn to, the people that we actually want to be with the most, are those that practice extravagant, oftentimes lavish generosity. The people that are willing to bend over backwards for us, those are the people that end up building the greatest loyalty. And whether we realize it or not, we actually see this all the time practiced in online communities. How many times do you stop by a website that offers that if just for your email address, though that's completely free to give away, you get access to an ebook on the top 50 things that they have done to grow their business or the top 10 ways to expand your influence or the top seven redesigns for your website to gain more traffic. Or you can stop by my website, justinhebert.com, and I give you a free five-day e-course to help you gain some productivity. And truth be told, there's, there's lots more that I could offer. And if you sign up for that newsletter, please sign up for the newsletter. I'm actually going to give away more. I'm actually giving away a chapter of my upcoming book that expands profoundly on what it is that we cover in that quick five-day e-course. And I want to be a person that practices that generosity. And you, as a leader, should be too. Because it really applies to any situation if we find ourselves needing to lead. Let's say you are uh, somewhere in the, the mid-management range of your business. You know, you're, you're not quite at that CEO level, but you're certainly have people that are directly reporting to you. Well, if you become stingy with that information and people have to navigate around you because you might know all of the answers but aren't willing to give them away, you're going to you're going to slow down productivity, you're going to dec decrease costs, you're going to increase frustration and people are just going to learn to avoid you because they know that you are the person that can't help them. But on the flip side, if you are the person that hey, I actually know somebody who can solve that problem and you become the key peace that holds everything together and everything has to flow through you because you know it all and you're willing to give it away, people will want to do business with you and they will respond to you. It's actually quite, in, in the most simple terms, it's the easiest way to build a great network. That if you join a networking group, whether it's a former one or you just challenge yourself to go out and expand your network, here are the, the, the two questions that, that I ask. Uh, the first one that I ask anybody that I meet is who's a good connection for you to make? Because now as I continue to expand my network, I have just got a running list of who needs what connection and I can make that, hey, you said you needed a chiropractor, you said you were looking for a dentist, you needed a lawn guy, you needed a pest control person. I can be the person that just gives away that information for free and people turn and view that as valuable. And the second question I ask is what's one problem that either your office or your industry is facing that you'd like help with? Because if I can find that answer for them, because maybe they're just so stuck and mired in the day-to-day -day operations or the business politics or the dynamics and the culture of their workplace that they can't solve this problem that they know if they could solve would really help. If I can say, hey, actually, here's this or read this study or check out this book or I found this podcast. I hope it helps. It's been thinking about you. Let me know if you need anything else. All of a sudden, it just creates this goodwill cycle. People know, number one, that they can count on me to follow up. Number two, that I can be a person that if I don't instantly have the resource, I'm willing to work and find it for them. And that actually brings people to me that builds incredible reciprocating cycle. Because they know, hey, I want to help Justin because he's done so much to help me. And that is something you can easily do. Number one, what's a connection you need to make? Number two, what's a problem you have that I could solve for you just because I want to help? So if you can do that and then you can practice that extravagant generosity and just give that stuff away, you are going to build a fantastic network, grow your business, expand your leadership, and lead with influence. That's it for this cup of coffee, this tip on leadership. I'll see you guys next time.